goes a little bit deep this year. I haven't hit solid ground. It's just kind of compressing under, underneath my weight. But it is, I would say it's chest deep for sure. Because like I said, I'm not at the bottom. You can feel more depth down there. I'm uh, trying out something a little bit different today. The guys over at Algonquin Outfitters, in particular Nate, Nate Muskoka on, Inst on uh, Instagram if you want to check him out. Let me these Alte skis. Alte? Alte? Skis, 125 centimeter with skins on them. They're meant for this kind of travel, so I'm going to try them out on this really deep snow and see how they perform. I, I'm skeptical, but I hear good things. If uh, these make sense for me, I don't know if I'll get a commercial pair like this or if I'm going to make some. I know I'm going to make some eventually. The question is, do I end up using these more than I use snowshoes in the meantime? So let's uh, try this out. I'm sure I'm going to have a blooper reel by the end of this video. So I haven't been on cross-country skis in years. I haven't even been downhill skiing in for over 10, maybe 15, 20 years actually. So this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. No, it's so deep I probably should have found a pack down area to stand in to put these on first. So I'm in town again today of course. Doing the whole canoe thing yesterday and now the wife and I are out snowshoeing and catching up on some things and uh, stopped by uh, Algonquin Outfitters and Nate set us up with these. Oh my god. In this deep powder, even on a fairly steep incline, I actually didn't slide at all because I just had too much snow up to above my boots still. Um, yeah, I think for me, probably I would use them sometimes and in the right conditions, but I think if it was icy out or the snow was packed or in the spring when it gets um, dense and wet and you're riding completely on top, I don't think I could control them. I'm just too inexperienced with skiing now and uh, you know going through the thick bush that I typically go through I think I'd be into a tree in no time so I think for that reason I'd probably stick to snowshoes in a lot of cases so putting these snowshoes back on to go uh, out on this spot that's untrampled yet to uh, delim this tree and then cut it into the length that I need for the ridge pole but uh, putting the snowshoes on reminds me why I don't think skis are really a great option for me 
I'm working in the bush more than I'm traveling. Now, if I was to go on a, a long winter camping trip, pulling a sled behind me or even wearing a backpack, I think those little skis would work. But the flotation is a little bit superior in this, although I'm surprised how well those skis do keep me on top. Um, but maneuverability, of course, in the thicker bush, working in spots like this, trying to stand in one spot while I'm working on a piece of wood or a, a log and turning and stuff like that just wouldn't be practical with skis. But uh, like I said, I see their usefulness and I think probably next year I'll end up with uh, probably a homemade pair at a larch or ash or something. And I'll try that on, on some longer trips, especially ice fishing. I can see maybe how they'd be much more useful for ice fishing than, than snowshoes. So that's my opinion on those skis. I think they're worth trying out if you're the type that, uh, you know, likes to get out on weekends and explore and go across lakes and stuff like that instead of working in the bush. And I think skis are probably a great idea, worth trying out at least. And uh, for me, I think for next year, like I said, I'll probably use them for things like ice fishing. So if you want to check that out, this is not a sponsored video. I haven't talked to the ski company at all, Algonquin Outfitters. It was, I just happened to walk in there looking for something else and, uh, and Nate uh, tracked me down or saw me come in and offered, just suggested I try those things out. So if you are interested in trying out uh, those skis and you're in the, the Algonquin Park area, Huntsville, or I think they have a location maybe in Halliburton as well plus um, one out by Algonquin Park itself but anyway in the Huntsville area I know for sure you can go in there and, and rent skis or or snowshoes and I think they've got other winter camping equipment as well all right so that's it for this video hope you learned something like I did and I look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time take care